there's plenty of people that were living and died before Jesus, so what? Does, does everyone say that? Do you believe they went to hell or what? Or do you believe what? Difficult, excellent question. What about those people who never had the opportunity to hear about Jesus? Right, if he died for everyone's sins, you know? Great question. I do not know specifically how God will judge those who never heard about Jesus, because Jesus never specifically answered the question. And obviously my knowledge is limited to what Jesus said. But Jesus makes five points that apply to your excellent question. First point, Jesus' character is just. Because of that, nobody's getting ripped off. No one's going to be judged unfairly. Because God, the judge, is just. So they couldn't have went to hell then, if that's true. All right. Second point. Jesus insisted the only reason people go to hell is because they choose to live their life separate from God. In other words, no one's going to hell because they didn't hear about Jesus. No one's going to hell because of lack of information. Nobody. The only reason people go to hell is because they choose to live their life separate from God. And on the day of judgment, God will grant their request, and they'll spend eternity separate from him because that's what they asked for. Third point. In Hebrews chapter 11 in the New Testament, we have a partial list of people who will be in heaven who never heard the word Jesus. They lived hundreds of years before him. But these people in humility put their faith in God. God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm trusting you with my life. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Rahab, a Gentile prostitute are five examples of this. Fourth point. The only reason Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Rahab, the Gentile prostitute, are going to be in heaven is because Jesus bled and died on a cross. In other words, Jesus insisted no one's going to be in heaven because they lived a goody-goody life. Because none of us have lived a goody-goody life as God defines good. We all need God's forgiveness. And that's what Christ offers through his death on the cross. Fifthly and finally, although I specifically don't know how God is going to judge those who have never heard about Christ, I do know that all of us here have more than ample opportunity to read the Gospels, to investigate Jesus. You and I are responsible for what we do with Jesus. Right, I was going to say, he does, fault some of, he does fault some people for not trying to find out about him. Correct. Doesn't he? It's a great point. I am always confronted by people who say to me, well, Cliff, I just don't know. I just, I just can't put my faith in Christ yet. Maybe someday. But that is a decision that I'm making, a decision not to respond to Christ's love. So Christ says, watch out. Don't play games with me. I have not played games with you. I have displayed my love and trustworthiness very clearly by bleeding and dying on a cross, by rising from the dead. So don't get caught in agnosticism. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look at the evidence. Make a decision based on the evidence. Trust Christ. Or if the evidence is he's not reliable, reject him. And put your faith in someone who's more reliable than Jesus. But for the life of me, I can't find anybody who's more reliable than Jesus. I don't sleep. I don't not sleep well because I...